focus to work since then? It all goes back to fundamentals and technique. Uh, when things, uh, and, and you've got to give Pitt a lot of credit. They're a good, really good defensive football team. I hate to go back and talk this far back. I've tried to forget this. I appreciate you bringing it up. <laughs> no problem. But uh, when, when things get haywire in a game, when things get tough, sometimes, kid, uh, sometimes guys revert to doing their own stuff instead of trusting that if the fundamentals and techniques will work. And that is something we've been trying to preach. We haven't got it perfect yet. We haven't got it close to where we want it. But that's what we're working on. Have you been pleased with how they've bounced back, how they've responded since then? Well, we did not win at Miami, so no. And uh, we gave up a, uh, some sacks uh, that shouldn't have happened again. And I think it all still goes back to fundamental technique. And uh, I think we have the ability to get it done. It's, it's, it's uh, doing what your coach do, doing what you, that you're drilled to do in practice each and every day, and make it a habit, have great habits on game day. And, and you know, regardless of the situation in the game, regardless of the opponent you're playing, you have the same fundamentals, the same technique, and you do it right all the time. It seems like everybody has said Motley did a pretty good job in relief of Brewer, but is there something about getting your starting quarterback, the guy you went into the season planning to go with, getting him back that's sort of refreshing for you? It's, it's good. I'll, I'll say this. It's good for Michael because he's worked so hard for, for to be the quarterback and play. But Brandon Motley's done, he's, he's done an outstanding job. And, uh, you know, we, we, we've all made mistakes. The, the issue with this offensive football team, as you've heard before, is our execution. And it's, it's not the quarterback screwing it all up. It's not the running back screwed up. It's not the receiver screwed up. It's not just the each guy. There's a, every, I can go across the offensive line in this past game. And each person had, if we eliminate, uh, not a minor, but a, a, a critical mistake. If we eliminate one critical mistake, but, and it's not like one guy's having five. One, this guy has one. This guy has one. This guy has one. And they all add up you got to execute as a unit, and I think that's our biggest issue. Is that harder, though? I mean, if you have one guy with five critical errors, you say, okay, we got to replace that guy. No doubt. When you have five guys who might make – what can you do? You keep working. You keep grinding. Uh, you keep working your fundamentals and technique. You, get, you keep preaching effort. And the, what I told these guys, hard work will bring a profit. You work hard. You do your job each and every day. It'll work. It will pay off. You got to believe that and do it every day. Sounds like Duke, maybe not on the pit level, but brings a number of different pressures. What do they look like defensively? Uh, they they are multiple. Uh, they do have a they will, they will send a house at you uh, in, in third down in red zone. Um, they're they're athletic. Uh, Sixteen stands out as a really really good player, but they got a lot of good players over there. And uh, I think the coaches do a tremendous job and uh, putting them in room for good situations. Do you think um, Trayvon McMillan is a guy that gets a lot of credit for getting yards after contact, running hard, running with power? Does that motivate an O-line to know you're blocking for a back that's going to kind of finish the play for you a the little way, bit? The way I figure it with, with the, the running back O-line relationship, sometimes you may have an offensive line that's not very good and you've got a great back. And that great back, he's, he's breaking tackles and he's making runs and you start thinking you're pretty good and you get better as an offensive line. Sometimes you got an offensive line that's really good and the back may not be as good. And you road grade people and, and, and they make plays and they get even better than they are. And uh, Trayvon's done a heck of a job. I, I like it that 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 we don't we don't just get what the play's blocked for. Okay. Anybody can get what the play's blocked for. Uh, he, he's doing some, you know, he, he took it to the house a couple weeks ago against North Carolina State. You want to talk about that game? That'd be a good one to talk about. <laughs> uh, he, uh, you know, when he, he hit that, that sweep outside and then the left sideline, that was awesome to see someone take it to the house. And we need some home runs like that. That excites the whole football team, offense, defense, everybody. So, sounds good.